February 13, February 13, what is a really good rule of thumb about fishing shallow water? Good morning, guys and girls. February 13, February 13, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please, please, pretty please, subscribe to this channel right now. I guarantee you, I guarantee it will change your life for the better. It says catch a better life. It's exactly what you will do. Catch a better life. Absolutely catch a better life. We have a scripture from the Word of God every day. If you spend just a little time with one scripture from the Word of God every day, He'll bless you for that. He will bless you for that. He absolutely will. And it has a devotional built around fishing and a fishing tip for every day. Become a better fisherman while you're having a better life. On February 13, we're looking at Daniel 3, 1. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was 60 cubits. 60 cubits, that's tall. And its width, 6 cubits. Fishing is important to a lot of us. Really important. It's more than a hobby. It's a whole lot more than just a sport. It's more than friendly competition, although it is a lot of friendly competition. It's a way of life. Fishing is a way of life. Can fishing become our God? Yet, you know, though, I believe it can. I believe it can. Particularly those of us who fish for a living. There might be a thin line between fishing becoming our God or not. Might be a thin line before that. Might be pretty doggone close. But God allows no other God. He allows no other God. He doesn't share his throne with anybody or anything or anyone or any image or anything else. In today's verse, we find a really blatant example of a man declaring himself as God. A king declaring himself as God. So much that, that uh, he created a 90 foot tall, that's right, 90 foot tall statue. And he commanded everyone to bow down and worship that statue. He basically just said, I'm God. I am so powerful. I've done so much. I've accomplished so much. I'm God. But the gods in our lives will not necessarily be that obvious. They won't be 90 foot tall all the time. And here's the bad thing. They can slip in little by little. Slip in little by little by little until they're on the throne. Until they're replacing the God that created us. These gods can take many forms. They can be a hobby. Your job can become your God. A sport can become your God. Money, money becomes a God for a lot of people. Power, I think a lot of politicians suffer from that right there. Power becoming their God. Even sex, sex can become our God. Who or what are we really worshiping? Who are we worshiping? We need to think about that. Is God on your throne? Is God on my throne? Yes, he is. Here's our tip for today. Fish shallow cover near deep water. That's right. That's just a good rule of thumb. Fish shallow cover near deep water. You know, one of the things that seems like that grows in real shallow, that's great cover, and, and near, near deep water a lot of times, lily pads. Now, lily pads also grow in shallow water, and there'll be shallow water all the way out. But if you can find some lily pads, got some deep water close by, those lily pads will normally have fish on them. Boat docks that are shallow boat docks that are near deep water, near a creek channel or a bend in a creek channel where some deep water comes in. Uh, those are usually the best place. Shallow water cover near deep, deep water. That's a good rule of thumb. It'll work just about anywhere, any place, almost any time of the year. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Tell all your friends about it. I sure do love you.